so scary when you see that. Right, Mark McAdam is back in the studio and he's on transfers today, so there must be some breaking news. Absolutely. Nottingham Forest fans, get excited because you have a new right back. We spoke about it this morning uh, and that Steve Cooper was looking to add a new defensive option at right back and he has done it. Julian Biancone has been confirmed by the football club as... Uh, Nottingham Forest player. It's just been confirmed on the club's website in the last few moments and their new right back has been speaking to the club as well. He says I am very happy to arrive at a club like Nottingham Forest after a good experience with my former club Troyes. I know it's a big club very known across Europe and I'm very excited to be joining the club with its great fan base and great history. Having spoken to the head coach it's clear there are exciting times ahead and I'm looking forward to joining up with my new teammates and getting started in the Premier League. And, of course, the boss, Steve Cooper, has also been speaking as well. Uh, and he says, Julian is a very talented defender who has attracted a lot of interest from clubs across Europe. Uh, he's proven himself at the highest level in France and Belgium over recent years, and he recognises what we want to build at Nottingham Forest in the Premier League. He's a versatile defender who is very strong and is a great addition at centre-back or on the right-hand side. And we're delighted to welcome him to Nottingham Forest. So there you go, Nottingham Forest fans. You've got a new player there, Julian Biancone. We said the medical had been completed in personal terms agreed this morning. It's now been confirmed by the football club. And he will be in place for next week's pre-season tour of Spain. And he becomes the third signing. Taiwo Awonye from Union Berlin. Dean Henderson from Manchester United. Brennan Johnson with a new contract as well. We said that Nottingham Forest weren't just going up to the Premier League to make up the numbers. They want to compete and they're competing in the transfer market as well.